Hey. Hi. Sorry, I'm gonna have to do it with this. No hand. worries. I'm good. I'm good. Hi, Nita. Hey. Good to see you guys. I didn't know what to bring to a sunlight. Good. Good. So just your service Some and that's chocolates for the fine. team and uh, flowers. That's Essentially, what you're in right now is our clean room. It's an ISO 7000 clean room. That just means that we have to make sure that there is not dust particles that we're carrying from outside, um, which is why you also went through the air shower to make sure that you're rid of everything. Um, the cleaner room is actually uh, where we assemble all of like a little bit more sensitive stuff. So our sensors, camera, all of that gets assembled over there just to make sure that there's absolutely no dust whatsoever and nothing that can inhibit the cameras. What you see here is a, it's a one is to one more or less model of the actual Firefly satellite and we use this to test out vibration, anything thermal testing that all happens on this model just to make sure that the satellite as a unit can hold itself together. What you see here is a payload, uh, again a representation of the payload, that's where the actual camera goes. You have a sun sensor, you have a GPS antenna on top, these are the solar panels once the Fireflies are up in orbit the solar panels deploy themselves out. This is the final place where all the satellites get assembled. They're directly shipped out from here to the launch site, wherever that one. This floor is where we design uh, our missions. Our mission uh, team set here that designed the orbit, uh, orbit system in this. The structures team and thermal team set here along with propulsion. And then we have some of the program management sitting here. You are the best. You are the guys who wrote this paper. When are you? You are here? We have this little living room set up. We practically live here. We don't mess around with these people live here. But yeah, these are set up for the mission control operators so that they can just live out of here if there's something critical to deal with. Nice washrooms and like showers. We've set it up completely. Last time during Fireflies commissioning, we we had people living here for like a month straight. So yeah, it's also a mini hotel. We have like lamps. Okay. So we have the lamps here. We have some of the Firefly components laid out right there. So you can see the reaction is about some of the panels and uh, the propulsion system electrical setup. And essentially we lay these out flat on the table. 
and wire them up to test our software runs or test individual components and we can swap them out. So while these guys are working in machine control, if they want to simulate something, they can come here, plug it in, run a test on it and see how it would behave in space. Uh, welcome to the MCC. Uh, we currently split the machine control center into uh, two sections. This section is for operating the satellites that are in the nominal phase. So the satellites have undergone commissioning and they're currently servicing customer orders. So as part of the operations team, uh, we have to look at telemetry from the satellite, which is basically any information that the satellite sends us. And we have to also send commands to the satellite. And it's basically telling it what to do. Uh, this can be uh, anything from daily health keeping to imaging commands that actually uh, result in data being sent to the customer. Um, so in the MCC, we have, as you can see, uh, a whole range of screens of many sizes and in, in many numbers. Um, the big screens are mainly for all of the uh, people in the mission control team for each satellite to look at. And they will be like uh, general uh, satellite health parameters. So you can see that uh, we have some information from the satellite on one screen saying this is the voltage, this is the current, and so this basically gives everyone a general idea of how the satellite is at that point in time. And obviously on our monitors we will have a much more granular view of the satellite and the monitors and our workstation is where we actually do the commanding uh, from and to the satellite. I think if, if we can show um, it to even one person that hey you, you, your dreams are valid and you know maybe it's fine if you're not qualified to do something that you want to do. You can just go ahead and work on audacious, ambitious missions. So, if we can, uh, you know, motivate someone, that's that's a goal met. That's a very important goal for us. That's been met. you can just do things. <laughs> you're giving a speech now. I have to because Avesh is not around. But I think he's also joining, like via Zoom. <laughs> wow, that's some crazy oh, stuff. Did is that, does that never happen? Dude. Of course it happens. <laughs> <laughs> Were you really impressed by yourself? No, 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 no. I was, I was like, I felt bad. Like I'm the first person to do yeah. this.